Welcome to the Sage BusinessWorks mini tutorial on upgrading the software. In this presentation you will learn how to stop services and computer management before starting the upgrade and how to upgrade Sage BusinessWorks at the server and at the workstations. Now before beginning the upgrade we need to stop services in computer management. I'm going to right click on my computer and select manage and double click on services and applications and again on services. This will show me a list of all the services that are on this computer. Specific services that we're looking for that need to be stopped are any antivirus, firewalls, IIS admin, iPod service, protected storage, and any Microsoft Exchange services among some others that would also need to be stopped. To tell if a service is running, in the status column you will see the word started. To stop this service, all you need to do is right click on the service and select stop. After the service has been successfully stopped, you will notice that the word started is no longer in the status column. A simple reboot after the successful installation will restart any services that were stopped prior to beginning the install. You are now ready to begin the upgrade. After placing the CD in the drive, the installation wizard should appear on your screen like this. Select Install Sage BusinessWorks to begin the installation. Click Next to continue. Accept the terms of the license agreement and click Next. If you are upgrading from version 8 to version 2009, the pervasive portion of the install will be skipped since there is no pervasive upgrade with this version. Verify the location of the installation, including the program path, data path, and the client data path, and click Next. If you are upgrading from version 7 or earlier, the pervasive portion of the install will now begin. Please note that this portion of the install may take several minutes to complete. The progress bar will continue to move as the install finishes. When the pervasive portion of the installation completes, the Sage BusinessWorks portion of the install will automatically begin. After the Sage BusinessWorks portion of the installation finishes, you will see a configuring databases message. This is where Sage BusinessWorks is creating a connection to the pervasive database engine and is registering the sample and demo databases. When the installation is complete, you will see the completion screen. Click Finish to end the Sage BusinessWorks server install. After you have completed the installation at the server, then you'll need to go to each of the client workstations and run the client setup there. Now this is important. You do not use the CD after you're done with the installation at the server. You only use the CD at the server and then when you're at the workstations you browse through the network to run the client setup. Now before beginning the client setup, we need to stop services on the workstation just like we did at the server. To do this, we're going to go into computer management, then into services and applications, and services. Find the services that we do need to stop, any antivirus or firewalls, right click on those services, and stop them. Once all of the services that are necessary to be stopped are stopped, we can then begin the installation. To do this, you can click on My Network Places, Entire Network, Microsoft Windows Network, Find the name of your network, the name of your server, the location in which you installed to, in this example, the Sage folder. Open up the BW program directory, then open the client setup folder, and then double click on the autorun.exe. This will launch the installation wizard for installing the Sage BusinessWorks client. Once you have launched the client setup auto run, you will need to select the option to install the Sage BusinessWorks client. Click Next to continue. 
If you are upgrading from version 8 to version 2009, the pervasive portion of the install will be skipped since there is no pervasive upgrade with this version. Verify the location of the installation, including the program path, data path, and the client data path, and click Next. If you are upgrading from version 7 or earlier, the pervasive portion of the install will now begin. Please note that this portion of the install may take several minutes to complete. The progress bar will continue to move as the install finishes. When the pervasive portion of the installation completes, the Sage BusinessWorks portion of the install will automatically begin. After the Sage BusinessWorks portion of the installation finishes, you will see a configuring databases message. This is where Sage BusinessWorks is creating a connection to the pervasive database engine and is registering the sample and demo databases on the workstation. When the installation is complete, you will see the completion screen. Click Finish to end the Sage BusinessWorks client install. If you receive the error, no writable share, when selecting the client data path at the server, this means that the Sage folder is not shared correctly. Go back to the Sage folder and verify that it is shared with full control for all users. You should never receive this error at the workstation. If you do, make sure you are not doing the workstation install from the CD. If the installation hangs at configuring databases, it is recommended that you close the installation and reboot the server. After rebooting the server, you may try to launch BusinessWorks and receive an invalid alias name error. Go ahead and rerun the installation after shutting down the necessary services. Reinstalling will replace the database that is causing the invalid alias name error and will allow you to launch without error. You may receive the message, pervasive.sql installation has failed if there is a service that is running that is interfering with the installation. To resolve this issue, shut down all non-essential Windows services and processes and run the installation again. You may receive the message that simple file sharing is enabled if installing on a Windows XP Pro computer that is acting as the server. Simple file sharing must be disabled in order to set the appropriate share and NTFS permissions. Again, you should never receive this error at the workstation. If you do, make sure you are not doing the workstation install from the CD. To disable simple file sharing, go into My Computer, the Tools menu, and Folder Options. Click on the View tab, scroll all the way to the bottom, and where it says Use Simple File Sharing, uncheck the box, Apply, and say OK. In this short tutorial, we have shown you how to stop services to prepare for the installation, how to upgrade Sage BusinessWorks on the server, and how to upgrade the client workstation. Thank you for viewing our mini tutorial for upgrading Sage BusinessWorks. Please check this website regularly as we are always adding more mini tutorials.